Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Alright, getting started. My hair is freshly shampooed, deep conditioned, and detangled. Check out that scalp. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we're gonna clean it up back here. Ta da! <laughs> Alright, so I'm going in by moisturizing my hair. This is definitely going to be a protective style, so we got to definitely go in with our cream, our butters. All the products will be listed down below in the description bar. But yeah, my hair's already started to dry out, so that's why it's got that fro look going on. But I'm going to fix that. gonna be a lot of parting going on in this hairstyle so yeah getting those sections clean and right we're gonna start with the front two sections first and just tuck that right on away nice and slick I apply just a little bit of gel Going to do the same thing to the next section. Grabbing that section, added it to the next section. Going to add a band. Nice and secure, but not too tight. Going to make a few more sections, and essentially, we're just going to keep doing it. There's no rhyme or reason to my parting, <laughs> um, so I have to make sure that it's clean, um, clean parts. And essentially we're just connecting ponytails I call this like a my, I call it connect ease <laughs> because you're essentially you're just connecting ponytail after ponytail section after section until you get to the very end and I'm doing mine quite large um, I just always do that I don't have the patience to do anything smaller but you can do it um, smaller sections Definitely can do a small section, but with my hair being as thick as it is, mm -mm, this is about as small as it gets. And making sure to smooth and moisturize the length of my hair. Because this has to last me all week. And when you get to the very end, however you choose to end it, and you'll see some product is definitely peeping out. <laughs> and that's because um, I just want to make sure that it's going to uh, be moisturized, but it will definitely dry up. And this side has gotten dry, so got my handy misting bottle. Some clean parts, chunky parts. Look at that part. Yes. Okay. You see that? <laughs> I don't do a lot of parting in my hair. So when I do get a clean one like that, oh yeah, I'm proud. Added some gel to this um, to get a nice smooth sleek look going on up front. And you want to take your time with the pieces up front. I mean, everything else after that, mm, but you definitely want to make sure that the front frames your face well, well like the placement of the bands matter. Don't want them to be looking like you got knots, look like a little unicorn. <laughs> Definitely want to make sure you put the, the bands in a place that is fitting for your face. And we're grabbing the first section and connecting it to the next. And we're just going to continue to do that all the way down.
the very ends. You can, like I said previously, you can coil it, twist it, ride it, however it goes. Yeah. Got a little bit more gel. Can't see my parts like that in the back anyway. But of course, if you do smaller sections. But this is the look that I'm going for. Uh, this is one of my go-to hairstyles. And yeah. Get those edges to lay down. All right, and this is the final look. I've added some of these like silver metal pieces to it, um, where the rubber bands are. Um, kind of laid my edges a little bit with the gel that I used. And yeah, uh, this is the back view. I'm gonna lower it so you all can see. And then if you bring them across the front, if that's your look. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is perfect for those who don't wear braids or can't wear braids or don't know how to braid. Um, it's a per perfect protective style. And I'm going to show you also how you can wear it to make it a full on um, protective style. Because right now this is more low manipulation because your hair is still kind of subjected to rubbing up against your clothes and all of that. Now to make this a full on protective style, grab you a couple of bobby pins. We're just going to loop around I me. Mean, you can put this in kind of like a bun thing if you want it. But I'm simply just going to cross them over and pin them like so. Uh, but yeah. Fairly simple. And, and this is the look here. So I really hope you all enjoyed this uh, tutorial here on how to do this. So yeah, I really, really love these styles. Really, really go-to, protective, easy, same day, wash day styles. So I love it and I hope you found it helpful. And we've got another option, my favorite option. I get the most compliments on this and it's inspired by Layla. Go ahead and protect my clothes because my hair is damp. I've already shampooed, deep conditioned and detangled it. Um, I've already applied my leave-in and moisturizer. Those products will be in the description bar below. And we definitely want to layer on those products because this is supposed to last all week. So what you're going to do is go ahead and section off a center part. We're going to come back to that. But for right now, we're going to apply some gel uh, and get this nice and smooth. I'm only going to use my hands because I get a pretty smooth look with that. But if a brush works for you, then go for it. I am so focused. <laughs> I literally was on my way out the door with this hairstyle today. Grabbing two of my ribbon ties. I'm doing a low pony. It is key to look with your head down while putting on your ponytail so that you can have good range of motion without it pulling in the back. We should be looking like this right about now. And yeah, add more products if needed. grabbing one ribbon tie um, I'm just gonna eyeball it you don't want to do them too tight either and you want to kind of give your hair a little tug to bring the length down and also to encourage some length on this hairstyle because you know our hair shrinks. All right, you can coil it, twist it, perm rod or whatever. I twisted mine and then I'll just take it out before I head out. It just gives it some nice texture. All right, and now to the fun part. Go ahead and get your gel so you can make it nice and sleek. You do want clean parts since we're using rubber bands. First rubber band needs to be off to the side. You'll see why, but the first one does need to be off to, to the side. And then we're just gonna band it, smooth it, repeat for the length of my hair. I look like I got inches. <laughs> and you see this one, the first one is to the side and the other one is towards the center. And that is key. 
I had a lot of product on my rubber band, so yeah. This is optional, but I literally was headed out the door. Like, right out the door. And this is what we're looking like right now. And they should fit perfectly like a puzzle piece if you did one to the side and one to the center. Check for placement before you add a bobby pin to secure it in place. This is what we're looking like and this is of course optional but I want to add a little bling to my hair so I got some gold ray clips that I'm going to just add. And you can stop here but I want to be extra. <laughs> going to grab some gold thread. Um, that I got from my hobby store and double knotted at the base of my ponytail before just wrapping it all the way around. Secure with a knot, clip off the excess, and yeah. This is what we are looking like here. I love this style. Hope you do. And that is all for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next Tuesday.